I will always be an artist. I will always be a struggling artist, as in financially, mentally, and creatively. But I will be an artist. I've wanted to be some sort of artist when I was younger. I'd paint and draw. And if anyone asked me what I was drawing or making, I would say, Laura, what are you making? Thanks. What are you making? And I think I said nothing or something else is because I was imagining what it could be instead of what it actually was. I would take an idea and I would turn it into something that it wasn't. Even as a young kid, I knew. Over here. Read, act, make crafts, literally anything that allowed me to create or visit a fantasized reality in a book, I'd do it. I still do it. I do it all the time. I do it because I love it. And I do it because it works well as a brain distraction. <laughs> as years went on, I did more things, more distractions. That's how I got decent at doing a lot of things. My college coach called me a jack of all trades. My grandparents and aunt said that as well. I guess it's true, but for how I see it, I know that in order for an artist not to get burnt out, they have to do and experience other things. And that's how I've always approached it. Also, I have ADHD and mental health issues, so I can't do something for too long. And I have to have multiple ways of expressing myself since I don't like talking about things. I will always be an artist from here on out.